Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Lawrence Welk Show, celebrating more than 40 years on television. Now sit back and enjoy the show selected especially for public television. Boylan, Bobby Birch's first dancing partner on the Lawrence Welk Show. Actually, I'm his first dancing partner ever. And I'm Greg Dixon. I was in the quartet called the Blenders on the Lawrence Welk Show in the mid-60s. And I'm Barbara's first marriage partner. And the only one, I might add. And we're one of the half dozen or so couples who met on the show and got married. There was always a lot of romantic action backstage with so many young people working together. Because Barbara and Bobby were a dance team, people always assumed that they were either going steady or engaged. We didn't want to spoil the illusion, so we kept our dating a secret for a while. When we finally announced our wedding plans to the press, this is what some of the magazines had to say. Let's see, the first one. one. Oh, yeah, TV Picture Life. Uh, two Lawrence Welk stars to marry. Dancer Barbara Boylan says yes to Greg Dixon. Wow. Woof. So and here's one from uh, Movie Land and TV Time. How's this for a headline? The marriage that could wreck the Welk show. <laughs> sure. Uh, I don't think so. I like this. This is all of us out in front. That's great. Yeah. Okay, this one. Oh, what? Here we are. Greg, Greg and I. Oh, why Bobby Burgess didn't go to Barbara Boylan's wedding. Uh -oh. Yeah, not good. Well. From TV Radio Mirror. Yeah. And here's what I really like. Here's Lawrence and I dancing, and um, Bobby looking on, saying, hmm, he just took my partner. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, the dance team of Bobby and Barbara continued on for a year or so. And the team of Barbara and Greg had two children, David and Diane. Diane is now married to Brian Pauls, and they have a two-year-old daughter named Kristen, with another on the way. We love being grandparents. The popularity of The Welk Show continued to grow. And as you can see, it's still going strong on public television. And Barbara and Greg lived happily ever after. And here's that wonderful man who brought us together to introduce the opening number that just happens to feature the blenders. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very kindly. Welcome, friends. Glad you could all join us for another musical hour. Here's a timely song to blend us and the band team up for the popular June night. Gentlemen, one, two.
Prize College. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Popular Jimmy Roberts always receives a lot of fan mail. And here's one of his pop requests. Jimmy. Isn't that a nice voice? And Jim, he's such a wonderful fellow, such a friendly guy. Now let's put the ABC spotlight on our very wonderful dancing couple, Barbara Boylan and Bobby Birches. They're going to dance a bride rumba. One, and two, and... was always one of my favorite numbers. It's a time for joy, a time for tears, a time we'll treasure through the years. We'll remember always graduation day at the sea.
pleased with the public reaction to our new newest single recording, The Wabash Cannonball. It features my North Dakota buddy Frank Scott, our two fine guitar players Neil Lebang and Buddy Merrill, and Dick Catcard, one of the world's greatest trumpet players. <laughs> Cannonball. It's good to hear that song again. The campus atmosphere brings back some fond memories to a very charming lady. Lovely Norma Zimmer does some reminiscing as she sings the beautiful song, Hello, Young Lovers.
Isn't that a lovely voice? And a wonderful lady. I'm sure just about everyone has had a try at playing chopsticks on the piano. But have you ever tried playing it with chopsticks? Let's watch Joan Castle's technique. retired from the Welch Show in 1967, I never really hung up my dancing shoes. Joe Feeney has just returned from a very successful concert tour. Joe, it's good to have you peg again, and Joe is now assisted by Frank Scott. <laughs>
Has he got control over his voice? We're going to call now on the band for some dance music. The boys have a fine arrangement of when you're smiling. One, two. <laughs> producer, director, Jim Hobson, is a former student of Purdue University, and he has recreated a part of his old campus. We find the Blenders on campus singing The Sweetheart of Sigma Chi. I wonder where Buddy Merrill is. I don't know, but he better get here. Oh, sure. Hi, fellas. Shh. Sorry. Sorry I'm late. Okay. Hit it. The girl of my dreams the sweetest girl of all the girls I know. Each sweet co-ed like a rainbow trail fades in the afterglow. afterglow. The blue Reminds me to have you tell the audience how you started singing with the quartet. 
Our talented keyboard artist, Bob Ralston, is at the piano to play his arrangement of a song written by the late El Jolson, Back in Your Own Backyard. Lovely Natalie Nevins tells the story of Puff, the magic dragon. Puff, the magic dragon, lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. Little Jackie Paper loved that rascal Puff and brought him strings and sealing wax and other fancy stuff. Together they would travel on a boat with billowed sail. Jackie kept a lookout perched on Puff's gigantic tail. Noble kings and princes would bow they came, and pirate ships would lower their flag when Puff roared out his name. Oh, Puff, the magic dragon, lived by the sea, and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. Puff, the magic dragon, lived by the sea.
a real charming number, very excellent. That song was made so very famous by Peter, Paul, and Mary. The other side of our new recording is the Tennessee Waltz. Bob and Bobby find it great to dance to. I do too, and I get the first dance with Barbara. <laughs> Beautiful song. Now let's hear from Larry Hooper. Our rhythm section gives him a good bead for the song Hallelujah. Sing Hallelujah, Hallelujah, and you shoot the blues away. When cares pursue ya, Hallelujah, gets you through the darkest day. Most Lies of wisdom and creating skies of gray. But hallelujah, hallelujah helps to shoo the clouds away. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah helps to shoo the blues away. When cares pursue ya, hallelujah gets you through the a darkest day. Mr. Satan just lies of waiting and creating skies of gray. About hallelujah, hallelujah helps to shoo the clouds away. Helps to shoo the clouds away. Helps to shoo the clouds away. Here's Lawrence introducing another friend. Bob Rawson and our saxophone section always do a nice job, so let's give them a chance to perform. Here's a very beautiful song, My Prayer. <laughs>
give our Van Pelts a very pretty and relaxing sound. Now for a change of pace, let's call on the happy young man from Pasadena. Ladies and gentlemen, Arthur Duncan. Thank you very much, Arthur Duncan. Now, here is a pretty uh, romantic setting for a duet by uh, lovely Norma Simmer and Jimmy Roberts. Their song, one of your all-time favorites. Wonderful song. Thank you, Norma and Jimmy, for a beautiful rendition. Dick Dale enjoys singing folk songs, especially when he has the help of four pretty girls like the Lennon sisters. Now here they are with the Big Rock Candy Mountain. Candy Mountain. Oh, the buzzing of the bees and the cigarette trees, the soda water fountain. Where the bluebirds sing by the lemonade springs on that big rock candy mountain. Candy mountain. On a summer's day in the month of May, a burly bum came a hiking down a shady lane near the sugar cane. He was looking for his liking. As he strolled along, he sang a song of the land of milk and honey. 
where a bum can stay for many a day, and he won't need any money. The buzzing of the bees and the cigarette trees, the soda water fountain, where the bluebird sings by the lemonade springs on that big rock candy mountain. Candy mountain. In the big rock candy mountain, the cops have wooden legs, the bulldogs all have rubber teeth, and the hens lay soft boiled eggs. The farmer's trees are full of fruit, the barns are full of hay. I wanna go where there ain't no snow, where the sleet don't fall and the wind don't blow, where the bluebird sings by the lemonade springs, the people don't care if they comb their hair. Just can't wait till I get there on that big rock candy mountain. Rock candy mountain. Thanks, always, Steve. Well, here's a cross, a black hill skull cross that Mr. Welk gave us. And this is a fun pair of earrings. It's a champagne glass. And I remember he gave it to us on uh, New Year's Eve. All these things bring back great memories of a wonderful time in my life. I'm so glad I was part of such an important and entertaining time in American television history. Now let's see what our favorite accordion player might have for us. Meyer? Thank you very much, Lawrence. We've taken an old, very popular piano number, and we've added our wonderful Latin rhythm section to it this evening. And the song that comes out, we're going to call The Secret Samba. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> Our good friend and occasionally golfing partner, Gordon Jenkins, has written many, many fine songs. We think this is one of his best. Here is Aladdin with This Is All I Ask. As I approach the prime of my life, I find I have the time of my life learning to enjoy at my leisure some of life's simple pleasures. And so I happily concede this is all I ask. This is all I need. Beautiful girls, walk a little slower when you walk by me. Lingering sunsets, linger a little longer with the lonely sea. And children everywhere, when you shoot at bad men, shoot at me. And take me to that strange enchanted land that grown-ups seldom understand. Wandering rainbows, leave a little color for my heart to own. Stars in the sky, 
make my wish come true before the night has flown. And let the music start whenever there's a song to sing. And I will be younger than spring. Yes, let the music play as long as there's a song to sing. And I, I shall be younger, younger than spring. Our guitar twins, Buddy Merrill and Neil Bang, add a little Western flavor to the show with their arrangement of San Antonio Rose. Take it away, boys. <laughs> to our college campus where our students are having some fun with a song that was very popular in the 20s. Here is the drag, see how it goes, down on your heels, up on your toes, that's the way to do the varsity drag. Hotter than hot, newer than new, meaner than mean, bluer than blue, gets as much applause as waving a flag. You can pass many a class, whether you don't know why. If you all answer the call when your professor cries, everybody down on your heels, up on your toes, stay after school, learn how it goes. Everybody do the varsity drive. Everything was fun on the show, especially being as young as we were. Lawrence treated us all like his kids and really wanted to develop young talent. We couldn't have asked for a better person to be in our lives. We hope you enjoyed this program. And it was so wonderful to be on the Lawrence Walk Show again. Thanks. Bye-bye. So long. Good night. Sleep tight. This week, Saturday Night Cinema takes a look at two men who love the same woman. And they are also about to embark on one of the bloodiest battles of World War II. Join me, Bill Stanley, as we remember Normandy. It's D-Day, the 6th of June, on this week's Saturday Night Cinema. Our movie begins at 8. And now stay right there. Another great program is coming up next on KSPS.